Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. I have Jeff here again today and we are going to answer one of the most common questions we get or two questions which is how we met. Oh that's a yeah. And how Jeff proposed. Literally anytime I ask for questions for a Q&A someone asks no, about how we met. We're not doing this so. again. This is for Snapchat. This isn't for YouTube. So anyway, for those of you that don't know, we are high school sweetheart. Okay, this isn't going to work. Just leave her. Just leave her, babe. It's She's cute. She's like licking. It's cute. We really met just through mutual friends. Yeah. Though the story that our parents like to tell is that um, we met because we were both voted best dressed. So we actually met, I guess, a little bit before that. But you have to talk about what constitutes best dressed in... 2007 when we graduated high school yeah well we should throw up the photo jeff on the so anyway we both in the superlatives for the yearbook won best dressed and then we had to take a photo together for it and jeff showed up wearing a navy sweater which was the exact same color as the auditorium curtain that we were taking the photo in front of i got it on a discount from Hollister because that's where I was working at the time. I also would like to note that in the photo I don't have shoes on. I don't know why I decided to take my shoes off, but there's no shoes in the photo. Yeah, I think that they were also navy. Kelly showed up in like a bright lime green jacket or something. Yeah, I basically look exactly the same as I do now. I had on like skinny jeans. And I then we were wearing, weren't we wearing top. like sunglasses? We were wearing sunglasses. I had, why are you wearing sunglasses? It was inside in a dark auditorium. So we were trying to look fashionable. So that's how we met. <laughs> and then we decided to kind of like hang out and date that summer because we met towards the end of senior year. Tell them about our first like date. Where was our first date? Jeff's sister was having a birthday party and they were all going to see Mary Poppins. And Jeff knew that I loved musicals so he invited me to go with them and we ended up going into this the city is new york we are from new jersey we'll always call it the city there's no other city yeah um so we went in earlier that day and we went to the big toys r us in times square that's not there anymore and there's like a big ferris wheel and we rode on that i think <laughs> they put us in the like biggest it was like the Cabbage Patch Dolls, like, giant um, <laughs> cart stock. <laughs> Before, on the, like, when we went into the city that day, Jeff told me that he, it was, dinner was going to be his treat. But then we went out to lunch. Oh, God, you're telling this story? Then we went out to lunch, and he paid for lunch. And I was like, great, he's paying for both meals. Amazing. So then we went to Times Square. And we went to the... Don't ever go to Times Square. Yeah, I don't know York. why we went there because we don't like Times Square. But I we went there Times Square. and then we went out to dinner at Applebee's. <laughs> Classy. We had mozzarella sticks. We formed our relationship based on cheese. I, after we finished eating, I went up to go to the bathroom. And when I came back, I saw that the check was on the table and there was money on the table. And I went to Jeff and I said, oh, thank you so much for dinner. And then <laughs> Jeff proceeded to be like, oh, and pull his wallet back out because he had only paid for himself, <laughs> himself. And I was so mortified. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I, I can pay. It's fine. But you married me. I did marry you, but... You told me you were paying for dinner. I didn't think that that was dinner. I thought that that was like a snack that we were doing before dinner, which probably would have been at like the Olive Garden or something nicer than Applebee's. You still bitter about that? Well, you bring it up quite often. So. <laughs> and then we went to the show and then we rode home in the limo with your sister and all of her friends. And that was our like first date. Mm hmm. So we had been together for seven years at that point. Six years, yeah. I think, when I started being like... Whatever you say. Let's get married. I got to a point where I was probably so annoying because I just wanted to be engaged so bad. It was a lot of pressure, but I knew that, I had, I knew that we were going to get married at some point. Um, so I 
found a jeweler here in downtown LA and I brought Kelly with me initially because she knew the exact kind of ring that she wanted. She knew the specifications down to a T. So we sat down with the jeweler and she drew it out and she had photos and things that she brought with her as reference. And we were like, great, we'll see you when the time comes. And little did she know, I went back a few weeks later and actually sat down with him in secret and I picked the diamond and I picked the, the band and he was like, I can have this ready in a few weeks. And I was like, amazing. And then he had it, he dropped it off. And then I had it in my sock drawer for like weeks. And I was terrified because I was so afraid that she was going to find it, which you didn't. Thank God. I didn't. And then I proposed. So November 2013, my best friend Lauren, who met her boyfriend in college there, Mike, she was coming out for a girls weekend. Little did she know that Mike was planning to fly out and surprise propose to her out here. So that happened and we got to be a part of it, which was really fun. And I had a proposal all set and ready to go. I had our friend Jahan of Geronimo Balloons lined up to do like a balloon installation and we were going to do it downtown. Um, and I had a photographer ready and I was going to do it probably like two weeks after Mike and Lauren had left LA and I had the ring with me at one point while they were visiting and I showed it to them and Lauren was like, you need to do it while we're here. And I was like, I don't really want to step on anyone's toes. Uh, so I, I'm going to keep my original plan. And the three of us talked about it and I just wanted to make sure that everybody was okay because I, I wanted to be able to celebrate them. And at, in the end, it ended up being kind of amazing to have them here and be a part of it. I'm so happy we ended up doing it that way because I think Kelly appreciated having her best friend there when she got engaged. And so I got on the phone and I'm like furiously texting Jahan and Mary, our photographer, and I was like, can you guys do it like last minute? And we ended up moving the entire thing to Griffith Park. And then we stalled going to the Trails Cafe in Griffith Park. And I was just eating pie and we were sitting there for like an hour waiting for everybody to finish the setup with the balloons and I got the text and everyone's like all right it's set up we're ready to go and I was like all right we have to go everyone pile in the car we have to go and we drove up and around the park and as we're coming down the street we see this balloon installation in the field in the distance in the park and I remember the first thing you said to me Kelly was like oh my god there's Geronimo balloons Jahan must be doing a photo shoot with someone and I threw the car into park in like the nearest spot and I think the blood at that point had like drained from my face and I was like okay it just became really real you didn't say anything and immediately I remember Mike and Lauren jumped out of the car and everyone was like it was like it's go time and they just swung open the doors and everyone jumped out except you you stayed in the car <laughs> stayed in the car she just chilled in the car and I was like Kelly get out of the car <laughs> And I took her hand and at that point, I think I just like blacked out. I don't really remember what I said. I, I don't, don't remember. remember I don't remember a single thing that Neither I said. Neither of us remember anything that he said. But I grabbed Anyone her... else? Has anyone else been proposed to and does, does not remember a single thing? I don't remember a thing. I honestly just went black. I just remember grabbing your hand and walking you towards the balloons. I had the ring in my pocket. Your sister-in-law was like hiding in a tree over here. Mary was over here. You didn't see either photographer. No. When I had met with Johanna ahead of time, uh, she just completely exceeded my expectations in terms of what she put together with this balloon amazingness. And, uh, and then I got down on one knee and... I probably <laughs> I probably said something for 30 or 40 seconds and then I whipped out the you ring. You talked a lot. All I remember is that you were talking for a long time. I also remember knowing that I was going to do the proposal and before we left for the park, remembering watching you get dressed and your hair was very much like this and I remember you threw on a shirt that was similar to this but it was like in green yeah. and I was like, I hope she's going to be happy with what she's wearing because these photos are going to be our official proposal photos. And uh, I mean, you ended up obviously looking beautiful. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was such a whirlwind. And then after the whole thing was over, there was champagne and I decided it was a great idea to inhale some of the helium from the balloon. Don't ever, ever, ever inhale helium. Don't do it. It is so dangerous. So the helium plus the alcohol from the champagne, I was like laying on this couch on my back. Just, I had like the worst headache the rest of the night, so I wasn't even able to go out and celebrate with the three of them, which was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And now, here we are. And here we are. But yeah, it's a question we get all the time, so we wanted to answer it and reminisce. Oh. 
So that's our story. So do you guys have any interesting proposal or stories about how you met? I want to hear them. So tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back here again, I'm sure, answering some more questions. So I like these. I know. I like fun. being able to connect with you guys, and this video can live on longer than 24 hours on a Snapchat, right? So this is oh. a lot of fun. And if you want to see our wedding videos, we briefly talked about that. It is under playlists on the channel. You can see it. Oh, so. yeah. I added it under there. It's on Martha Stewart's channel, but Kelly favorited the video. So if you go to her page. I just said it's on our page. On our playlist. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!